What's going on everybody? It's your boy SB is the track star and welcome back to another dance hall video tutorial. Another one where we are go over the Mton automatic rhythm style. So this was by request of course. Like I said, anything you want to see, just ask me. In the comment section, I reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. You know what I mean? So somebody asked me if you build a rhythm, you know, kind of like another style of Mton music, the automatic. Um, so here's a, a distinction now. The old Hempton style is different from the new Hempton style, you understand? Not by a lot, but it's definitely different, you understand what I'm saying? Personally, my favorite producer, or modern producer, Adindin Din from Hempton. So, um, let's get into this. So, the very first thing we are going to load up, we are going to load up Arcade from Output. Now, I don't necessarily need Arcade, but just in case, me don't load it up, you know, just in case. So, let's go into Splice. And we need to find, let's find a sample, right? Um, so, let's just go through some of them packs here and find a nice little, um, nice little sample. Perfect. Perfect. And at the perfect tempo, 90. So, let me say with sampling. Double click on the file and we can do it the easy way or the hard way. We are going to do it the hard way. Why not? So first, double click on the file. Change this from resample to auto. Right click. Four bar. Cool. Once you do that. Now it map it to whatever BPM you're having at the session. So we don't change this to 90. We don't restretch. Yes. Then we don't change this to 92. And then we don't restretch again. Yes, now notice how the waveform slightly has changed. Cool, so now let's listen to the waveform again. Cool, there is a gap and we can visibly see it. So let's double click on this. Right click on it, open in audio editor. Cool, let's maximize this. Let's zoom in to the front. You see this blue thing here? Let's delete this. Let's delete. Cool. You can just right click on it and delete it. Let's get this box small. Let's click this little arrow. Drag it out. We don't drop it here. Notice the blue tick gone. Close that. Close that. If you get this to line up perfect at the front, you don't hold on pan shift and use your mouse wheel if you scroll up. And we'll scroll until we have the big part right at the front there. So just like that. Now we'll come to the end. If you look, we have a little bit of a gap. Cool? No problem with that. We'll double click on the file. We'll change this from transient to generic. Cool? Just like that. So what that do now is if we right click, if right click and hold it, like literally just right click one time and hold on the button, it transform the, the brush into the knife. So now we we'll don't make sure say we chop off all of that. Boom. Like that. Cool. We we'll don't go up on the top. We we'll don't turn on stretch. And we we'll don't grab the end of the file. And we we'll don't line it up with the end of this file right there. So, so we we'll don't make a nice perfect little loop. Cool. So now that we have that, we we'll don't double click on this again. We we'll don't right click. And we we'll don't go four bar again. So now what happened? It restretch it to four bar. Once you do that, it'll give it a little gap. So we don't come. We don't line it up right at the five. Now, we have a perfect four bar loop. We'll get rid of the little gap in at the front. And we'll stretch out the file. So play it. Cool. So we have our first song. Let's put this on channel one. Cool. We don't then add just um for the video sake. We don't put the reverb on the track itself just for the no 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 we're not gonna do that. We don't create a track, we'll call it reverb. As a matter of fact, we don't call it um new verb. New reverb from isotope. Kinda like it, so we're gonna use it. We'll call it that. We'll load it up from isotope, which part it there. Yeah, so reverb, new verb. All right, cool. We'll play the sound. We'll turn on reverb assistant. We want a large reverb, dramatic, 100% wet, clean, next. 
let's send some signal into the reverb so it can create a reverb for you. Accept. Now we have a reverb. Let's over exaggerate these curves. Um, no significant masking detected. All right, cool. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, let's um, go back. Cool. So now we have a reverb. Perfect. So let's go back around. Um, what is the key for this sample? It seems as if it's A. I'm not sure. Modern progression 90. A. It has a A. Um, so we don't run with that. Let's um, go in um, arcade. Like I say, it's only if we need to use arcade. So let's go in there. Let's load up one of them Vox thing or clandestine. Um, um, hold on. This is say A minor. Is this beat A minor? We need to find that out. So let's go back to this. Go up on track one. Right click on the output key detective. Me only I do this so it can detect the key. Me assume say A major. Alright, so if this is a C major, then that means say, the key is A minor. So, R key is already in the right key. How it know that, I don't know. That's, that's some creepy shit. So, we all roll with that. Oh, okay. Kind of like that. So, let's go in the arcade piano roll. And we need to drop arcade down here. So, we'll just stretch it out for the full four bar at the loop like that so now let's go back to the piano roll so stretch this out so I want to go piano like no one you know what I mean right that's all
Cool. So, let's <laughs> take a little bit longer than what we want. But we have a foundation. We get, you know, all of, we, um, all of that stuff kind of um, screwed away. Cool. So, let's um, go back to the exclusive mega plug. Let's go. Cap Sun. And we'll go 420 Smokers. We'll go Not Chops. Um, one Shots. We'll go Snare. And we'll just start now kind of build out the rhythm. You understand? We have a foundation. You know, we don't really need much more than that. We'll add a couple more vocal chops later on. But for right now, we have a foundation. So let's just build out the rhythm. Um, we need a nice little snare. We need something for kind of fit the mood. And I think this will work. So let's um, add that. Let's go back to the top. Turn on loop. Let me see, I did add a couple more vox. So, we will do that. Um, need to find the one I'm going to look for. Lenny. Vocal. Loops. Let's do. You've got the most beautiful diamond eyes. I can take you there. I can take you. I can take you there. This will work. So let's get creative with it. Right? Of course it's just no, no, no. She has a no two time, right? So let's shorten that up. No, no, no. Firstly, we need to stretch this, right click, two beats. No, actually two bar. Oh, hold on, let's go one bar. Perfect. No. Cool. 
Let's turn off stretch. Let's chop off the end of this. Cool. Turn on stretch and then stretch it out like that. Put this in an auto. Cool. Let's take this. We do right click. Make unique as a sample. Save it as any like a generic thing on the desktop. That's fine. I'm going to keep it anyway. Like that. We got a new sample. Can reverse it like that. Bring this here. Can turn it down. I'll put it about whatever that there. No matter. I'll put the other one at the same volume level. It's a little bit too high still. So let's take that down, copy, paste. Cool. No. Let's go. Dance a little go here. Yard vibes, kick seven. Of course, just add kicks. So I'll change the kick pattern here. Cool. I'll take this. I'll bring this down some more. I'll go channel preset. Signature 808. I'll copy. This I'll go in a here to the soft right click piano roll. Look a bit too high. Here I'll go MIDI. Here I need to copy in a minor, which is C major lamb, say. That bring that back back in at 808. All right, stretch them out. Turn on what the envelope and all 
I want to shorten up some of them things, yeah. Cool. Go high hat. Close high heart. Piano roll. They'll keep the hi hat simple for the first part. For the second part, we have to transform them away. I'll go in a yes, so I'll go quarter note. So here's so now we'll come in with some chops, we'll go pitch, we'll pitch them down. I'll switch this to third. I'll go pitch them and wanna up. So that's our high hat pattern, turn that down. I'll add in some perks for that. We are going to our kit and we just get once again the south side kit. Um I don't really go through it yet for really see if it's different from anything else with the pony market, but um just I'll go in here and dig up a couple of little sounds. Um oh wait the trap. South side palace percussion. Point this all the way to the right. Opening a new channel. We're going to point this all the way to the left. And then we have a thing from my kit, um, the Yard Vibes kit, I'm um, like, is a sonar. We can find it. Sonar, sonar. Percussion? I don't think it's a percussion. Oh, see that. 
Yeah, so right click new channel, I would have put the right at the drop, right at the front. Perfect. And I would have put a oh, nice look um pattern some about the place. I mean, I'll right click or put spam bar. Um, same thing with them. Uh, bar. Bar. You know what I mean? And then we can really say it that, you know, of course we can go crazier with it, you know, add more stuff to it. Um, we need to actually um, save this. Let's, um, yeah, let's save this. Automatic save, you know, can clone our key. Of course, we have more, you know, loops or you know, that like a shit we can play around with. Of course, you have this as a retro tongue. No, we're not gonna roll with the retro, red taking. So we can go. Let's find something more much. Yeah, and we can take one arcade, pan that to the left, take the other one, pan that to the right. And you know what I mean? Lick them with reverb. And then the last thing we'll need is a snare roll. So we'll go um, bonus, snare. Right there, so piano roll. We'll come. Can start up here, so boom. So we'll chop that in a three, four at first, but we'll delete one. We don't do this. straight down with it mm -hmm. 
just like that. Um, so we now have to really, we did uh, 31 minutes, we did uh, go over a little bit, but it really matter still, we are work. We we'll go, um, pan man, sometimes, pan man, and we are going to load up a preset and create the um, panematic snare roll here. I'll make sure I so the width, the up, soft, I'll tweak, press tweak, I'll bring back the width a little bit, increase it up here, so release 100% attack super fast. So now we have the snare roll like this. And as I'm going to go from left to right. And if we go hard, just to try to avoid all of that choppiness there, right? So we have all of that. So now let's go here, copy all of this, insert a new track, PS F7, boom, take off loop, delete that, right click, split by channel. Now we have all of that. We can bring this up here. We can put that this off right now. We can bring in all our tracks them. Drop that there so we can organize our arrange the truck. So now we have let's do this. Let's take off the solo. Yeah, as I know, I say, video go a little bit longer than I would have want, but hopefully we get the point across. It's really all about creativity. Because when I have no other melody other than the initial piano, everything else is vocal chops, you know, and just we are uh, put through like a spin, like a sauce. Point it. Boom! So yeah man, until next time, it's your boy Speeds, the truck star. Peace!